time, never wandering from his annual round, bids Zephyr breathe the spring, and thaw the ground, bleak winter flies, new verdure clothes the plain, and earth assumes her transient youth again dream I, or also to the spring belong increase of genius, and new powers of song spring gives them, and, how strange soar it seem, impels me now to some harmonious theme Castalia's fountain and the four till by day, by night, my raptured fancy fill, my bosom burns and heaves, I hear within a sacred sound that prompts me to begin, lo, Phoebus comes, with his bright hair he blends the radiant laurel wreath, Phoebus descends, I mount, and, undepressed by cumbrous clay, through cloudy regions win my easy way, wrapped through poetic shadowy haunts I fly the shrines all open to my dauntless eye, my spirit searches all the realms of light, and no Tartarian gulfs elude my sight. But this ecstatic trance this glorious storm of inspiration what will it perform spring claims the verse that with his influence glows, and shall be paid with what himself bestows. Thou, veiled with opening foliage, leads the throng of feathered minstrels. Philomel. In song, let us, in concert, to the season sing, civic, and sylvan heralds of the spring with notes triumphant spring's approach declare to spring, ye muses. Annual tribute bear the Orient left in Ethiopia's plains the sun now northward turns his golden reins, night creeps not now, yet rules with gentle sway, and drives her dusky horrors swift away, now less fatigued on his ethereal plain Boötes follows his celestial wane, and now the radiant sentinels above less numerous watch around the courts of Jove, for, with the night, force, ambush, slaughter fly and no gigantic guilt alarms the sky. Now haply says some shepherd, while he views, recumbent on a rock, the reddening dews, this night, this surely, Phoebus missed the fair, who stops his chariot by her amorous Carisynthia, delighted by the morning's glow, speeds to the woodland, and resumes her bow, resigns her beams, and, glad to disappear, blesses his aid who shortens her career come phoebus cries aurora come too late thou lingerest slumbering with thy withered mate leave him and to high meta's top repair thy darling cephalus expects thee there the goddess with a blush her love betrays but mounts and driving rapidly obeys earth now desires thee phoebus and tengage thy warm embrace casts off the guise of age desires thee and deserves for who so sweet when her rich bosom courts thy genial heat her breath imparts to every breeze that blows Arabia's harvest and the Paphian rouse. Her lofty front she diadems around with sacred pines, like hops on Ida crowned. Her dewy locks with various flowers new blown, she interweaves, various, and all her own, for Proserpine in such a wreath attired Tanarian this himself with love inspired fear not, lest, cold and coy, the nymph refuse, herself, with all her sighing zephyrs sues. Each courts thee fanning soft his scented wing, and all her groves with warbled wishes ring. Nor, unendowed and indigent, aspires thamorous earth to engage thy warm desires, but, rich in balmy drugs, assists thy claim divine physician. To that glorious name if splendid recompense, if gifts can move desire in thee, gifts often purchase love, she offers all the wealth, her mountains hide, and all that rests beneath the boundless tide how oft when headlong from the heavenly steep she sees thee plunging in the western deep how oft she cries off Phoebus. Why repair thy wasted force, why seek refreshment there can Tethys win thee? Wherefore shouldst thou love a face so fair in her unpleasant wave come, seek my green retreats, and rather choose to cool thy tresses in my crystal dews, the grassy turf shall yield thee sweeter rest, come, lay thy evening glories on my breast, and breathing fresh through many a humid rouse. Soft whispering airs shall lull thee to repose no fears I feel like Semele to die, nor lest thy burning wheels approach too nigh, for thou canst govern them. Here therefore rest, and lay thy evening glories on my breast. Thus breathes the wanton earth her amorous flame, and all her countless offspring feel the same, for Cupid now through every region strays brightening his faded fires with solar rays, his new strong bow sends forth a deadlier sound and his new pointed shafts more deeply wound, nor Diane's self escapes him now untried, nor even Vesta at her altar side, his mother too repairs her beauty's wane, and seems sprung newly from the deep again exulting youths the hymeneal sing, with hymen's name roofs, rocks, and valleys ring, he, 
new attired and by the season dressed proceeds all fragrant in his saffron vest. Now, many a golden cinctured virgin roves to taste the pleasures of the fields and groves, all wish, and each alike, some favorite youthers in the bonds of hymeneal truth now pipes the shepherd through his reeds again, nor Phyllis wants a song that suits the strain, with songs the seaman hails the starry sphere, and dolphins rise from the abyss to hear, Jove feels, himself, the season, sports again with his fair spouse, and banquets all his train now to the satyrs in the dusk of eve their mazy dance through flowery meadows weave, and neither god nor goat, but both in kind, Sylvanus, wreathed with cypress, skips behind. The dryads leave the hollow sylvan cells to roam the banks, and solitary dells, Pan riots now, and from his amorous chase Ceres and Sibel seem hardly safe, and Faunus, all on fire to reach the prize, in chase of some enticing oread flies, she bounds before, but fears too swift a bound, and hidden lies, but wishes to be found. Our shades entice to mortals from above, and some kind power presides o'er every grove, and long ye powers o'er every grove preside, for all is safe and blessed where ye abide return o Jove. The age of gold restore why chose to dwell where storms and thunders roar at least, thou, Phoebus. Moderate thy speed. Let not the vernal hours too swift proceed, command rough winter back, nor yield the pole too soon to night's encroaching, long control, 